Thank you very much. I call the uh, member for Penrith. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, it's fantastic to be back uh, here in the parliament for this uh, spring session of parliament and an opportunity to update the House and uh, all of the fantastic people who reside in the electorate of Penrith around the fantastic infrastructure upgrades that are happening in our community at the moment. Mr Speaker, everyone in Penrith knows that our city is growing and it's growing at a rapid rate. One of the challenges that I undertook when I first got elected into this space was to make sure that Penrith got its fair share of the state budget and it got its fair share of infrastructure upgrades. And right now, uh, Mr Speaker, we are seeing infrastructure upgrades right across uh, Penrith. Starting with the massive upgrade of the Penrith train station, uh, we're seeing uh, new staircase platforms put in place. We're also opening up a new bridge deck that's taking uh, people from the north side to the southern side of the rail line, and you'll be able to access that without having to pay to access uh, the, the concourse. So a separated bridge deck, um, and uh, so people can get an understanding of the fantastic upgrades that are happening at Penrith train station. Uh, I'm pleased to say, Mr. Speaker, that we've just launched a new app that people can uh, jump online, download the app and see all of the future upgrades with a 360-degree virtual tour of the new uh, Penrith train station. Um, the new concourse will also be supplemented by a significant upgrade to the transport interchange. And this is our main transport hub in Penrith. So currently we're seeing a new bus interchange being developed, uh, new taxi facilities, kiss and ride areas, all to enhance the public transport experience. And Mr Speaker, it's not just uh, the Penrith station itself, but we also know that there are plenty of people that drive their cars to access uh, Penrith uh, train station, and the car parking pressures at the station is something that the community has been raising with me for some time. And it's fantastic to be able to say that the new multi-storey car park that's under construction is very near completion and will be opening uh, very, very soon in August. Uh, on top of this, Mr Speaker, we're also seeing one of the very first commitments that I made uh, on my way into this place, the creation of a new Nepean River pedestrian bridge coming to life before our very eyes. And this pedestrian bridge uh, will truly be something to behold. Not only will it provide a safe crossing for pedestrians and cyclists over the Nepean River so they no longer have to walk on the 150-year-old Victoria Bridge on a very, very narrow footpath alongside cars and trucks and buses, but since, for the first time since 1867, people will be able to walk from Penrith to Emu Plains and Emu Plains to Penrith and actually be able to look down and see the Nepean River. It will be truly an iconic walking location. It's also one of the longest pedestrian uh, one of the longest river bridges in the country, uh, and as a, with a span of over 200 metres, uh, it is the longest uh, pedestrian bridge in the country when it comes to uh, pedestrian span. Um, Mr Speaker, also what uh, people in my community are seeing right now is the development of the large workshop uh, that's built alongside the Nepean River that's going to allow for the construction of each of the A-frame trusses. Now we're uh, using a Newcastle-based steel manufacturer uh, to build the truss frames uh, on site in Newcastle. They will be trucked into Penrith. The final fabrication will take place in the large workshop before each section of the truss frame is pushed out across uh, the river until we have our wonderful new pedestrian bridge. Many people have asked me about this new workshop. I think it's important that people recognise this is an investment by the company that is constructing uh, the work, that constructing the bridge. They'll disassemble the workshop when the bridge is finalised, uh, and then I'll take that back up to their site at Newcastle, reconstruct the workshop on their uh, site at Newcastle, so they can build many other fantastic pieces of infrastructure using Australian steel right across New South Wales. So, Madam, uh, Mr Speaker, I must say, on top of the fantastic work that's happening at Penrith train station, we're also delivering on the Nepean River pedestrian bridge, something my community has been calling out for long before I got elected to this place. We're also under construction with a set of lights at Northern Road and Andromeda Drive. It has been the site of a fatality, so it is uh, important to update the people of Penrith that we're under construction on that site and we will be building that set of lights and upgrading the Northern Road uh, as quickly as we possibly can. That's also supplemented by a safety upgrade that's currently underway on the Northern Road, uh, just opposite Cambridge Gardens, which is now very visible to people who use the Northern Road. 
Uh, Mr Speaker, it has been an absolute success story. This government is delivering for the people of Penrith, unlike any government that it's seen before, particularly when it comes to our pedestrian bridge, safety road accesses and upgrades to Penrith train station. I'd like to, th I'd like to thank the member for Penrith. Uh,